So I am here with Ty Hermans from Evolve, and we're talking a little bit about Global Entrepreneurship Week, which is essentially a worldwide initiative supporting entrepreneurship and innovation. And we're talking a little bit about how Australia is ramping up towards that today. Uh, welcome, Ty. Can you tell me a little bit about Evolve and, and why you wanted to get involved in Global Entrepreneurship Week? Yes. Yeah, so um, thanks for having us. Um, and um, yeah, look, um, I guess a little bit about Evolve first. So we're a, um, uh, a product design, development and manufacturing uh, business. Uh, we're located in uh, the Logan um, region of, uh, of Southeast Queensland. Um, in the Evolve part of our business, we've got about 180, maybe 200 people uh, working within that part of the business. Um, and uh, yeah, we design, develop products for uh, uh, for individuals and also companies. Um, so uh, predominantly in the um, plastic injection molding space, but we work across a whole bunch of different uh, you know, uh, mediums. So, um, you know, concrete, steel, um, timber, we've done all sorts of stuff over the years, but um, essentially people come to us with problems and we solve them with uh, advanced manufacturing techniques and, um, and help them um, get their products to market. So tell me a little bit more around how you support people getting products to market. I understand it's quite an end-to-end -end kind of picture of manufacturing more broadly. Yeah, look, um, you know, our customers are very diverse um, and therefore the products are very diverse and also the, um, the help that they may need is, um, you know, changes from, you know, from project to project. So, um, you know, look, we, we might have a, an individual um, contact us with uh, with an idea they've had um, somewhere along their product development um, journey, um, and we, you know, it could be a, a huge multinational um, client that um, has a, a very established um, product manufacturing um, base, either here in Australia or um, or overseas. And um, you know, in that instance, it might be we're helping them reshore their business. So they've they've been manufacturing in China for a very long time, um, and they'd like to bring that home. Um, and um, and yeah, in the in the case of uh, um, both individuals and also some of the big corporates, they're coming to us with a with a problem they need solved, um, and we're helping that from that you know initial ideation piece, all the way through the uh, design and design for manufacturing, um, helping with uh, understanding um, you know potentially your strategies around sales, marketing, certainly intellectual property is a big piece for us. Um, so helping um, customers understand what good intellectual property protection may look like um, a very practical application of that as well, because it's not just about patents. Um, yeah. All the way through to, to, to actually producing the product. Um, and a, a big thing for us is, is really understanding what the, the project's looking to achieve. Um, we, we get, we probably get a lot closer to that than a lot of other, I guess, just individual service providers may. Um, and because we're attaching ourselves very much to the success of the product, um, quite often we lose money through the process of actually um, helping someone bring it to market. Um, old habits die hard. So um, you know, we, we can't help but actually attach ourselves to the success because quite often that's actually where we make our first lick of profit is, um, is the ongoing manufacturing and supply of that into a you know, successful marketplace. Yeah, that's really interesting, Ty. I want to just touch on a little bit more. You mentioned um, bringing the manufacturing back to Australia and, and people might have heard a bit about advanced manufacturing and why is that so important thinking about it from you know our the, the situation we find ourselves in globally there's a resources shortage there's climate change people are talking about the circular economy and tell us a little bit about evolve and and how you're involved in that yeah look um i guess talking to the first point you know why is it important um you know it was important for me sort of 16 odd years ago when we first kicked off with the first idea um you know, we had a long family history of uh, import and export. And, um, you know, I sort of felt if anyone could get a product made overseas, you know, I could. Um, I was full of uh, um, gusto back then. And um, and literally going through the process of getting a product design developed and here in Australia and, and finding out how tough it was. There wasn't a whole lot of, um, I guess, assistance. Certainly not really good expertise. Australia had sort of very much built itself into an economy where um, ideas may be sort of ideated here, but then sent overseas to be produced. So actually looking to try and get something designed and developed and manufactured here was, was, was actually really, really tough. Um, and then we scratched the surface and I started to look at, uh, you know, what opportunities we had to actually manufacture in Australia. 
started to understand that it was a really good opportunity. If we designed a product well, we could make it here cheaper than China, um, which started to become a, uh, an IP protection strategy. And then um, certainly started to you know, look at recycled materials. And effectively what happened is over about two year period of sort of coming up with this idea and, and uh, sort of refining it, we realized that um, you know, we could manufacture it in Australia more cost, effective, more cost effectively than offshore. Um, we could use 100% recycled materials if we designed the product to be able to accept recycled and it's, um, you know, it's different material properties. And um, it was a very successful strategy. Um, you know, very quickly that product became um, you know, the, the, the highest selling product here in Australia. We're exporting them into the US and Europe um, and um, you know, manufacturing locally and using 100% recycled materials actually became a really core part of it. Um, you know, we successfully um, held off competitors uh, because the Chinese couldn't make it cheaper in China. They didn't bother copying it. Um, so, and, and because I had no money back then, um, I didn't have to worry about fighting any patent battles because they, they couldn't see any money in it, so they didn't bother trying to rip it off. Um, and then, yeah, look, the experience of learning how to use 100% recycled materials um, um, was a journey. Um, it wasn't, um, there wasn't sort of a rule book out there. It was a lot of trial and error, um, establishing supply chains with other Australian uh, material suppliers um, and, um, and understanding how recycled materials perform in different products. And it's become a real strong suit for us. Um, so, um, you know, it was almost natural progression for us to uh, get into recycling. And late last year, we acquired a recycling company. So, um, and for us getting into the circular economy, um, you know, we've been doing it for a long time. You know, we were doing it before it was trendy. You know, we were manufacturing locally in Australia before it was trendy and we've been using 100% recycled um, materials um, for a lot of our products, again, before it was trendy. And um, so, yeah, look, where we're at now, we have a, um, you know, we have full design, product development, all that stuff that I spoke about before. Um, but what we can now do is we can offer a, a full end-to-end -end piece, truly end-to-end. -end. We used to call ourselves end-to-end -end when it was a, uh, designing commercializing and launching products for people but um end-to-end -to, -end to us now means that we can actually take those products back at the end of life and recycle them um so for our customers we're designing developing products um that are you know successful for them um and at the end of the life we can actually take that product back so we've designed the products better come back into um, our recycling facilities and then actually looping them back into either um, new products you know, um, that those customers want or moving them those materials um, potentially sideways into other industries. Um, you know, for instance, some medical products can't go back into medical. Some food grade products can't go back into food, but they're perfectly good materials to go sideways into mining or um, uh, you know, uh, uh, pet products or whatever it might be. So, um, And again, because we've got such a diverse um, customer base, we're able to sort of... Um, you know, move those materials around and make sure that they don't end up in landfill. So Evolve has been part of the innovation community for a number of years, as you mentioned. Um, why are you excited about being involved in Global Entrepreneurship Week? What what makes you excited about opening the doors for Evolve? Yeah, I guess um, because there's no real um, course on on entrepreneur on, to be an entrepreneur, I guess, um, you know, um, you know, so often you, you need to learn things firsthand or learn them from um, people that have been there and, and done it. And uh, that doesn't just mean success. You know, sometimes the done it means you've, you've severely stuffed something up and it's cost you a fortune. You had to learn the hard way. So um, you know, we're very big on standing on the shoulders of giants and, and, um, and, and trying not to learn too much um, um, for the first time ourselves. So yeah, look, us being able to open the doors and, hopefully share some of our own experiences and, um, and, and our knowledge um, with, with people that want to, you know, jump into it. Um, I think entrepreneur is a, um, an interesting term. Um, I think some people use it too loosely and some people don't use it enough. Um, so, yeah, look, you know, we've, over the last 16 years, we've done a lot. Um, we've learned a lot and, and a lot of the time that's been the hard way. And, you know, if we can help people, avoid um, learning the lessons the hard way, then you know, that's, that's a successful day for us. So yeah, we're very much looking forward to um, um, having everyone through and, um, and answering all the, all the questions that people may have. And there's no such thing as a dumb question. So um, very much looking forward to sharing.
Well, thank you so much, Ty, and thanks for, for giving an insight into a little bit about Evolved and why you're very excited about Global Entrepreneurship Week coming up from the 14th to the 20th of November. And we look forward to, as we're sharing this video, there will be links to sign up for your event. Uh, so, yeah, really looking forward to it. And thank you so much for spending time with me today. So easy. Thank you.